Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'd. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabihi al-kareem, Inna allaha la yaghfiru an yushrika bihi, Wa yaghfiru mad, Wa yaghfiru ma duna thalik li man yasha. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, That verily Allah, does not forgive that you commit shirk, but he forgives other than that for whomsoever he pleases. That lets us know that shirk is one of the most serious sins or it is the, the deadliest sin. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not forgive the person who dies upon shirk. And that is what takes a person out of the fold of Islam. And something for us to keep in mind as the holy month of Ramadan is approaching is as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in that ayat in Allah la yaghfiru an yushrika bihi wa yaghfiru ma duna dhalika liman yasha that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives other than that for whomsoever he pleases so this is a time for tawbah it's a time to come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by using the holy month to do righteousness and seek forgiveness for, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as He subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one who can forgive you of your sins. And by seeking to come closer to Allah by reading the Quran while you're fasting, using your time wisely, seeking knowledge, remembering Allah much in the circles of dhikr, and reading a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to strengthen your ibadah, to strengthen your ties with your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala and to make istighfar, to ask for forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do those things which erase your sins, give sadaqah. All of those things are types of worship that will benefit you immensely during your Ramadan. And all of those things will help you to remove your sins. And we also have to remember that the door of repentance is open. And use your time to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Seek His forgiveness, ask for His mercy, ask for His favor. As He is our razak he, provi he provides for us. And He will provide for you if you ask Him. He will forgive you if you seek His forgiveness. Stand in the night prayer. Do everything you can to benefit from this Ramadan. Because this is ibadah mu'akkitin. Meaning this ibadah is restricted to a certain period of time. You're only going to have this Ramadan once. And if you are blessed to live through it, and live to see another Ramadan, then that's another opportunity. But as for now, we only have this month, and we need to take advantage of it, and seek forgiveness for our sins, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.